Every person and their physical traits are wholly unique. Even a twin might have one thing just a little bit different. Here are some of the most rare physical features humans can have. How many of these have you seen or heard of in real life? Number 20. Golden Blood The rarest blood type in the world isn't A or B or O or anything you probably thought initially. Have you ever heard of golden blood? No, that doesn't mean when you get a paper cut and 14 karat liquid gold comes flowing out. Golden blood, or Rh null blood, is characterized by blood that completely lacks the 61 antigens in the Rh system. Since the year 1961, the year golden blood was discovered, only about 43 people in the whole world were reported to have this blood in their veins. When it comes to current donors around the entire globe, only nine exist. To reiterate, someone with this blood type will still have red blood and not the color of a shimmering mineral. Number 19. Neck Ribs What? Did we just say neck ribs? What does that even mean? Well, one in about 500 people can be born with cervical ribs. That is, extra ribs that grow from the seventh cervical vertebrae, i.e. your neck. Also referred to simply as neck ribs, these extra little bones will not necessarily cause problems. If anything, people with these ribs won't even feel the difference. Occasionally, the bones may press on nerves or blood vessels and can cause a variety of symptoms such as discomfort or numbness. Number 18. A hole in your ear. That is no piercing. What you're staring at in this photo is a natural, small hole located right next to the ear. A preocular sinus or congenital auricular fistula is when there's a dent, dimple, or nodule that's located near the external part of the ear. Though they may prove to be relatively harmless, in some cases the preocular sinus can get infected, in which case it would have to be drained or be treated with antibiotics. These inherited features more commonly occur in those of African or Asian descent, rather than in other demographics. It it honestly just looks like a strange place for an ear piercing, don't you think? Number 17. The Long Palmer Muscle Do this for a second. Lay your hand palm up on a table. Touch your thumb to your pinky. If you see some sort of distinct ligament pop up from your wrist and downwards, then you have a long palmer muscle. Also known as palmaris longus, you'll find that a lot of humans do not possess this, at least not anymore. Back in the day, this came in handy for our ancestors who needed this muscle to help them climb up trees. Yet a few people still possess this muscle. Surgeons may even dissect it when needing to perform skin grafts or reconstruction surgeries. Number 16. Heterochromia you might see this more commonly in cats, but humans are born with heterochromia too. Celebrities such as Kate Bosworth and Mila Kunis famously have two different colored eyes, which is what things like genetic chimerism and more specifically heterochromia will visibly exhibit. The color of the irises in those with heterochromia doesn't always mean the eyes are two completely different colors. Oftentimes, it might mean that one of the two blue eyes may have a splash or a spot of brown. Number 15. Curly hair you may have already heard that it is rather rare to be born with curly hair than straight or even slightly wavy hair. While there are ways to superficially make your hair curly, there's nothing like being born with curly hair and having to deal with finding products that work with your specific kind of curls. Those with straight hair possess round follicles, whereas those with curly hair have C-shaped or flattened hair follicles. Sounds kind of backward, doesn't it? Number 14. People who don't need sleep. Okay, so you do need sleep. Getting no sleep at all does not mean good things for your health. However, that doesn't mean there aren't some people who don't need as much sleep as the rest of us. Adults should be getting about seven to eight hours of sleep every night. Famous people such as Margaret Thatcher, Leonardo da Vinci, and Thomas Jefferson were all known to not need the same amount of sleep as regular people. This kind of condition can be found in only about 2% of people, so it's a rare genetic disorder. Number 13, dense bones. You know those people that say they aren't fat, they're just big boned? Well, you don't need to scoff every time you hear that. Some of us come into the world with denser bones than others. People that have the LRP5 gene mean their bones tend to be denser and therefore stronger. While that sounds all fine and dandy, it also means that as these humans age, their bones will need things like joint replacement. Certain athletes, like gymnasts, may even develop a higher bone density, though only slightly increased, and nothing like those who were born with this mutation. Number 12. Red-Green Color Blindness Just being colorblind in general is already rather rare in humans. There are multiple types, but the rarest is red-green color blindness. This type is caused specifically by one gene inside the X chromosome. If you have this condition, the protein in the eye that can normally differentiate and detect colors of light will not be able to do so between red and green. For girls, they would need to inherit two defective copies from each parent in order to be red-green colorblind, since girls have two X chromosomes. 
Number 11, cleft chin. It's a trait that you see in all the classic superhero comic books. The superhero usually has great hair, a strong jaw, and a cleft chin. For some reason, the cleft chin came to mean something masculine, but men and women alike can be born with cleft chins. This term refers to the V-shape or Y-shape dimple people have in their chins. It gets caused by a gene with two alleles that create this incomplete fusion in the two halves of the chin. While it is a socially acceptable trait, there are people who opt for surgery to have it removed. Number 10, blue eyes. At one point during the beginning of humanity, all humans had brown eyes. And then somewhere down the line, a genetic mutation leads to having blue eyes. Although blue eyes appear more prominently in the Caucasian demographic, other ethnic groups do have rarer instances of individuals born with blue eyes. Take beautiful actress Aishwarya Rai, who has those famous piercing aquamarine eyes, though she is ethnically Indian, where the eye color is predominantly brown. Number nine, a widow's peak. This kind of hairline, known as the widow's peak, makes one's head look very much like a heart. Could you imagine what it would look like if you had a heart-shaped face and a widow's peak? You'd look totally lovable. A widow's peak counts as a symptom of Donne Barrow syndrome, a genetic disorder that has to do with a mutation in the LRP2 gene. While some consider it a dominant inherited trait, no studies can back up this claim. Number eight, photic sneeze reflex. A sneeze like this differs from regular sneezes because instead of being induced by a respiratory irritant like pollen or another allergen, a photic sneeze reflex happens when one looks at bright lights. It occurs in about 18 to 35% of people. Sometimes this entails just looking at the sun and can cause a sneeze response in someone who has this genetic trait. It may even sometimes be referred to the acronym ACHU, which stands for Autosomal Dominant Compelling Heliophthalmic Outburst Syndrome. Number seven, freckled faces. Everybody has a freckle or two, either on their face or somewhere else on their body. Then there are those with cheeks full or even a face full of freckles. These small dots on our faces are just concentrated melanized cells and can be caused by exposure to the sun. They're quite small and can, for the most part, only be seen on fair skin. Alleles of the MC1R control how many freckles someone has while other genes can influence the size, pattern, and color. Number six, the earlobes attachment. Earlobes get categorized in two different ways, unattached and attached. If the bottom of the earlobe connects completely to the side of the head, then they are attached. If not, they're unattached. Simple, easy. Then there are those outlier earlobes, the ones that cannot fit neatly into either of these two categories and exist somewhere in the middle. Unattached earlobes are dominant while attached earlobes are recessive. This means most people are born with unattached earlobes. Number five, tongue roll. You would think you could just learn this physical ability, but really some people are just born to roll their tongues. Lots of people believe that the ability to roll one's tongue is a dominant inherited trait, though no scientific evidence can support this. However, a study did show that 70% of people with European ancestry possess this trait, while the remaining 30% of the demographic could not. People who do this with their tongues were born with certain tongue muscles that let them. Honestly though, at the end of the day, what do you really do with this trait? It serves neither an aesthetic nor physically strengthening purpose. Is it just cool? Who knows? Number four, no fingerprints. We all watch those mystery shows where it appears the perpetrator sanded away their fingerprints or did something else crazy to remove their fingerprints in order to leave as little evidence behind as possible. In actuality, people born without fingerprints do exist, with only four known extended families in the whole world that have this condition. This rare genetic disorder is caused by a shortened form of a skin-specific protein, a mutation referred to as A. dermatoglyphia. There are no side effects, unlike other conditions that might give people a lack of fingerprints such as dermatitis, an inflammation of the skin that can result in worn fingerprints. Number three, a double lash line. Because of a disorder called diastichiasis, a person may be born with double lash lines. From a societal standard of beauty perspective, this trait would be highly desirable since it means you wouldn't need fake lashes or as much mascara as other people would. Elizabeth Taylor famously had double lash lines, which made her dark eye makeup look even more dramatic. Number two, a cholesterol-free diet. It sounds grand that there are people out there that don't need to worry about abiding by a cholesterol-low diet. Why? The lack of the PCSK9 gene in their bodies inhibits the growth of cholesterol. This lowers their risk of heart disease by about 90%, letting them have a much more inclusive diet in terms of their health. Every person has this gene. These people just have way less of it. Apparently, the pharmaceutical companies have even tried developing a drug that would block this gene. Looks like you can still eat meat, since that's a big source of cholesterol. Number one, seeing invisible colors. 
So wait, how exactly do you know if they're invisible if you're the one seeing them and no one else can tell you exactly what you see? Whatever, don't worry about it. Just know that a condition known as tetrachromatic vision exists. With this condition, people are able to see parts of frequencies that sit outside the spectrum of human vision. In turn, you can see quote unquote, invisible colors. This condition happens when genes vary and in turn affect the development of a person's retina. Tetrachromats have extra cones in their eyes, allowing them to see hundreds of other hues you and I and most of our friends cannot. 